Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Gary. I'm married to Anna. We have three children and we have been part of the King's Church family for over 20 years. Alongside Dave Bickenike, Bev Harris, some amazing volunteers and our wonderful oversight team, we run and manage the Homes of Hope ministry for King's Church. So I've been asked to give you an update on what's been going on at Homes of Hope over the last few weeks during the coronavirus pandemic. However, before I do that, I just wanted to say, Church, you're amazing. You're awesome. I just wanted to encourage you not to give up. Keep running the race. We are with you. We're for you. We're not going to give up on you. We're, we love you and we're standing with you in prayer. So over the last few weeks, I just wanted to say a massive thank you, a nice one to all those who've been supporting and contributing to all that we do at Homes of Hope. People have been standing with us in prayer. People have been cooking meals and delivering those to the houses. People have been making phone calls to residents, just offering them a listening ear and some encouraging words. And people have been really generous with their finances and donations. So thank you, church, for all that you've been doing and all that you continue to do. And I would ask, and urge you, church, please to continue to stand with us in prayer. Prayer is so key and fundamental to all that we do at Homes of Hope. And it enables us and empowers us to love, care and support for some of the most vulnerable and marginalised people in Manchester. Do you know, some of the guys that come to us over the last few weeks and months have been able to make changes that they never thought possible. Changes that have enabled them to recover from life controlling issues. Changes that they never saw themselves doing. Um, changes that have enabled them to stop offending or stop behaving in certain ways. So it, it's such a privilege to be involved in this ministry and be a part of somebody's life and journey with them for a period of time and just help them identify who they are and bring out the gold that is within them. So often society can look at people and see the dirt, um, but we at Homes of Hope try our best to identify uh, the gold in people and enable them to see it within themselves and bring it out of them. So thank you church for all that you're doing and continue to do it. Please, as I say, continue to pray with us. And for those who are able, continue to donate and give financially. Because of your generous donations, we were able to purchase a mini minibus a few months ago. And recently, as the lockdown restrictions have begun to ease, we've been able to take some of the guys out for day trips. Some of them have never been to the countryside or the beach. Uh, and we were also able to help one of our residents move on from Homes of Hope, a guy who had done a life sentence in prison previously and has now moved on to his own accommodation and a new job and a fresh start. So thank you, church. If there's more information that you would like about Homes of Hope, please visit our website. That's www.homesofhope.co.uk or feel free to send me an email. That's Gary, G-A-R-Y at homesofhope.co.uk. Peace to you, church.